Oh, are you getting yes. this? Oh my god. Whoa, okay. What this is, is going on? There's movement. no, these windows, are they open? These windows are not open. There's not, there's no there's window. There's not a draft. I don't, how? So yeah. weird. Wow. Like, so weird. All right, well, I think this is going to be a good time for an EVP session. Let's oh, yeah, get, um, yeah, no doubt. I'll go first, and then uh, you and Ryder go wait in the uh, camera room. And yeah, we'll, sure, sure. We'll do this. All right, love, man. All right, this is Josh Gates doing EVP session at Riverstone Inn uh, at the table where the Civil War nurse is said to have hung herself. Is anyone here with me? Is this where you die? I don't know guys, I'm getting kind of a weird feeling about this. Is there anyone here with us? Why are you trapped here? What's keeping you drawn to this place? Can you show me a sign of your presence? Are you angry that we're here? This is Ryder doing the EVP in the room where the Civil War nurse committed suicide. Is there anyone here with me right now? Are you upset that we're here right now? I don't know guys, I'm starting to feel a little, a little weird. Definitely got the chills. Can you give me a sign that you're here? <laughs> I don't know, it's getting kind of hard to breathe. Yeah, you know your limits. Don't push yourself too far. Can you make a noise or make yourself appear, knock something over. <coughs> yeah, I don't think I can do this. I'm definitely feeling really strange. If you feel too sick, get out of there. Alright, so Ryder, how are you feeling after that? I'm feeling a lot better, but it's definitely strange. I can't breathe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're very sensitive to these kind of things. Um, so what were the other reports in this area? Oh my god. Oh my god. What, what no oh way. Right it. That door is open. This door. This door is closed. Oh my god. Where does okay. this go? <laughs> this is the room where they used to keep the dead bodies during the time of the Civil War. That's really creepy because that was closed. Like When we were going through putting the cameras into the rooms, this was closed. Like, yeah, that's definitely that sound. Check, yeah. Okay. Right. So, it's an EVP session. Okay, let's get game. Okay, it's the game. Second EVP session of the night. We decided not to move location because we weren't really getting anything in the other room. So, we decided to come to uh, the room in the uh, hotel where they used to keep the dead bodies when this was a civil war hospital. If you're here with me, could you show me a sign of your presence? I know you're here, you can show me a sign of your presence. I'm not here to hurt you. Oh. <laughs> what was that? Josh. I swear to God, Josh, what they just touched me. Oh my God. Something just. There's nothing in here with me. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, Gabe, get out of there. Alright, well, it's getting pretty early in the morning, and I think we've had enough experiences to really solidify this case. So yeah. let's get Gabe and let's pack up and go home. We then traveled back to Cleveland, Ohio, where we began to analyze our evidence. And if you listen carefully right here, uh, we were able to isolate the sound of the footsteps that we had heard oh, okay. when we were walking through the hallways. Did you hear that again? Oh, the stairs! Oh, the stairs! Oh. You 
Wow, that's really clear. That was definitely what we heard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there was no one in the building because we had vacated it, so that's a very intriguing piece of evidence. And, uh, Ryder, this is the part where Gabe and I were in the room, and this piece of evidence is crazy. Like, look at the chandelier right here. Oh my god, oh, are you yes. getting this? Oh my god. Whoa, okay, this is going on. There's... Wow, oh my yeah, god. Yeah, it's actually, I think this might be the solidest piece of evidence that we have yeah, all night, wow. because you can physically see it's the chandelier moving. swinging back and forth, wow. and it was there was nothing there to move it, so. That's really crazy. This is the best piece of evidence I think we've had in a long time. I agree. All right, now, Ryder, if you listen very carefully right here, you can actually hear a slight tapping in response to one of Gabe's questions. So I'm just going to amplify that audio for you. Can you show me a sign of your presence? Right there. Do you hear it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, in response. Three taps. Yeah, three taps. I mean, and that was right after he asked for a sign, so I think yeah. that's really good. And news. while it's very hard to use this as an actual piece of evidence, it... In relation with the rest of the stuff mm -hmm. we found last night, I think this is really, really interesting. All right, Ryder, if you look right here, we have isolated your EVP session, and we've come across a really interesting piece of evidence. Here, just listen closely. Can you make a noise or make yourself appear, knock something over? Oh my gosh, wow. Yeah, I know. This is the part where you started to feel really mm -hmm. sick and you couldn't mm -hmm. breathe. Can you, do you think this might explain why you're yeah, feeling I think that so. way? I mean, I think this definitely shows that there was a presence there, which is why I felt yeah. sick. Mm -hmm. So this is um, the last piece of evidence from the night, but uh, Gabe has already reviewed this footage and he was pretty freaked out afterwards, so let's take a look. <laughs> what was that? Josh. Oh, oh my god. god! Did you see Whoa. that? Okay, now I understand why Gabe freaked out so oh much. Gosh. That is just insane. And, okay, let's isolate some of that audio and see what we can find. Get out! <laughs> what? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. god, did. Okay, I'm not crazy. Did no, you that hear that really audio? It, let me Dude. turn it up a little bit. That's saying. Get out. That's saying that get out. And me. then that's. Right after that, that's when Gabe reacts. Wow. Oh my okay. god. That's okay. Really good. Piece of so after really reviewing all this evidence, I think it's safe to say that Riverstone Inn is probably haunted. Definitely. Like there has been so much there were voices, tapping sounds, we heard those twice in the night, and also moving of doorways, etc. etc. Yeah. And I think I don't know. I don't have any other conclusion to make other than yeah. it's haunted. I agree. Alright, good job, Ryder. <laughs> <laughs> and now you know the truth!